Now let's talk about Carnot cycle. Now this is a very important topic in the uh, second law of thermodynamics. Now to understand Carnot cycle, we should remember the processes that take place in this cycle. We know what a cycle is when the initial and the final states are identical. So there are four processes which take place in this cycle. The first process is 1 to 2. So we have drawn two plots, PV plot and temperature entropy plot. We will discuss about entropy in the forthcoming videos. That is a part of the second law of thermodynamics. Okay. So uh, the first process is 1 to 2. So if you look at this 1 to 2 and compare it with 2, 3, the slope of 2, 3 is higher as compared to 1, 2. So 2, 3 is an adiabatic process and 1, 2 is an isothermal. If you, uh, you know, correlate this with the TS plot, 1, 2 is a horizontal line which shows it is at, at a constant temperature and 2, 3 is a vertical line which means it is at a constant entropy. So this is an isentropic process. S2 is equal to S3. Okay. So 1, 2 is a reversible, a reversible isothermal expansion because the volume is increasing. Okay. Now during this expansion, the gas cools down. Now as the gas cools down, it becomes easier for it to absorb heat. So you have some heat absorption at temperature Th. Okay. Then we come to process 2, 3. Now all the processes in, the, you know, in this cycle are reversible. This means they can be retraced exactly to their initial state. So this is reversible, this is reversible adiabatic. Now reversible adiabatic means it is an isentropic process, same entropy reversible adiabatic or isentropic again it is expansion you can see that okay now in this there is no heat uh, interaction because it is an adiabatic process okay now you come to 3 to 4 3 to 4 again becomes isothermal and there are two temperature limits th and tl okay so this becomes a reversible a reversible isothermal compression reversible isothermal compression okay so because it is being compressed so it the gas inside becomes hot so it will now reject heat so this is the heat rejection at temperature tl okay so you will have some heat over here and some heat over here Okay, let's move ahead. Now 3 to 4 is uh, isothermal compression and then 4 to 1, it again becomes reversible adiabatic. A reversible adiabatic or we also call it isentropic compression. Okay, now let's look at the mathematical values for it. So 2, 3. Q0, 4, 1, Q0. Okay. Let's look at the values. So for 1, 2, it's an isothermal uh, you know, process. So Q will be equal to W. So QH is equal to W, 1, 2. That is equal to, that is equal to what? That is equal to P1, V1 into natural log of V2 by V1. So this is the value of the isothermal work which is equal to the heat absorption at temperature Th. Okay. Now this is for 1, 2. Let's look at the same thing for 2, 3. Now for 2, 3 that is Q2, 3 it is U. Let's find out the work value. So that is W2, 3. Now it is an adiabatic process. For adiabatic you have P3 V3 minus P2 V2 by gamma minus 1. Assuming we have air as our working fluid. So you can now see that these are you know 
similar or you can say uh, quite uh, familiar kind of expressions that we are using over here. Now let's come to process 3, 4. For process 3, 4, QL will be equal to W3, 4, isn't it? And that would be equal to P3, V3, natural log V4 by V3. So that is again isothermal work, wherein uh, the isothermal work and the heat lost are same. Now we come to 4, 1. So for 4, 1, you have heat as 0, there is no heat interaction and W41, which is again an adiabatic process, this becomes P1, V1 minus P2, V2, this is 4, okay. So these are the mathematical relations for the work and the heat values. Now let's derive an expression for the efficiency of the Carnot cycle. 